one shot was fired. Sheriff Waters said that if you're ever in a situation where you find yourself in something like this, comply with the orders. Los Angeles is already preparing to host the Olympics in 2028, and it's clear a lot of work needs to be done between now and then. Good evening, everyone. I'm Carolyn Johnson. And I'm Colleen Williams. Some of that work includes building out our public transit system. Today, Mayor... Salute to my man, Osa. He says, for Caitlin on, on Rumble, we need seven more contributors. Salute to Doug Chunks on Rumble. He says, if I contributed every night, I'd go broke. Salute to the daily contributors. Salute our panel chat nation. Hey, listen, man. The people that contribute every night, Doug, they've been contributing every night for almost a thousand shows. You hear what I'm saying? Like some of them been contrib contributing every night for 200 shows, 300 shows. 400 shows, 500 shows in a row. So you got to, so, so, so yeah, Doug, man, I appreciate all you guys, man. I appreciate all you guys' contributions, man. But it's not fair for me to for 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 them to carry the show every single night when we got five hundred people watching. That's why I'm asking for ten contributors to unlock the show, unlock the link. Other than them. Salute to Bo Brown. Bo Brown says another for Caitlin. So now we need five contributors. Five more contributors to unlock the link. Shout out to Bo Brown. Mayor Bass met with Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg. It happened as the LA Metro system is once again dealing with fallout from a string of violent attacks happening just hours apart. The latest one. They got four years to get this together. Salute to JD, man. JD, it worked this time, man. It worked, man. Shout out to JD, man. Shout out to JD, man. We need four contributors. Four contributors. Four, four contributors to unlock the link, man. Four contributors. Salute to Gouch Merlot, man. Gouch Merlot in the bill. She says, you're a champion. Salute, I appreciate that. This one in Encino this afternoon, where according to police, a man was assaulted while on board a Metro bus. NBC4's Conan Nolan is here now with more. That's right. Keep in mind, no region in the country is spending more on building out a public transportation system than Los Angeles County. And that's not just for the 2020, 2028 Olympics, but far beyond that. It is a system with great potential, assuming people feel safe enough to take it. Los Angeles Mayor oh Karen Bass today. A DEI mayor who probably... Listen, man. You know her scores were lower than the Asian kids. Look at that Asian guy behind her. That Asian guy is... <laughs> Yo, this Asian guy is a construction worker, and he probably has 20 points IQ on her. He probably has 20 point if... um. 20 point higher IQ than her. Press one. He's a fucking construction worker and she's the mayor. Salute to Dada and Irika. We need three more. Three more to three more to unlock the link. Three more to unlock the link. Shout out to Dada and Irika, man. Shout out to Dada, man. <laughs> Yo, if this isn't if this doesn't show you DEI, 
This guy probably got like a 1,400 on his SAT. At the least. That's a low score for them, too. The East Asians, that's a low score. Well, let's just say he got a 1,400, right? And she got... Let's say she let's say she's a pretty smart sister. She got eleven hundred. Let's say she got eleven hundred on her SAT, right? Every school in the country wanted her, came knocking down her door. And him, he probably had to um, you know, probably had a tough time getting into the top schools, but it didn't matter because he got into some he got into the mid-range schools, right? You know? And somehow life twists and turns. You know, life isn't life isn't always, you know. Life is life is like a box of chocolates, man. You never know what you're gonna get inside. So he ends up as a construction worker. <laughs> and this chick's the mayor. Unbelievable, man. Los Angeles Mayor Karen Bass today meeting by video link with Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg, where she's seeking dedicated federal funding for the Pete Booty Juice. Pete Booty Juice. Just think about it, man. Like, listen, no, I ain't, I ain't no homo because I'm going to say no homo before I say this. I, I'm going to say no homo before I say this. Yo, this dude got his back blown out last night and gave somebody some dome. Think about that. Our transportation department head, no pun intended, literally got his back blown out last night and gave some, gave some noggin, gave a dude some noggin. That shit is crazy when you think about that shit like that, man. Asked today, meeting by video link with Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg, where she's seeking dedicated federal funding for the continued build out of Metro Rail projects in preparation for the 2028 Olympics. But below her ex, formerly known as Twitter, post came the comments You may advise them not to take the subway. First, you have to take care of the stabbing problem. How are you going to tell all our visitors to take the Metro? Such is the public relations disaster now facing L.A. County's $7.5 billion transit system, an unprecedented surge in violence. Police say a woman was stabbed to death in an unprovoked attack on board a Beeline train in Studio City. Recent weeks, we've also covered two stabbings, one assault, and a series of robberies on Metro's buses. And that was last month. This afternoon, LAPD reporting a man robbed and hit in the head while on board a Metro bus in Encino. A woman stabbed in the arm inside the elevator at a Metro Green Line station in South L.A. Two hours earlier, two teens stabbed in a fight on a Metro bus in Glendale. This is not a transit system that we should be proud of. Of. L.A. County Supervisor Catherine Barger serves on the L.A. Metro Board of Directors. So now you got this chick. She's in charge. So look at everybody who's in charge in this video. I want to go back on this, man. Okay? Mayor. Okay? Where you at? U.S. De head of Department of Transportation. Goddamn booty juice and the supervisor for the LA County Metro Board of Directors. Goddamn Sharon Stone and shit. <laughs> Unbelievable, man. What a fucking country, man. Um, salute. What a fucking country, man. What a fucking country, man. What a fucking country, man. This is who's running the show. This chick. 
DEI, DEI baby. Pete butt plug. Goddamn Sharon Stone serves on the L.A. Metro Board of Directors, a body which is instead of increasing the presence of uniformed officers, has tried to increase safety using so-called civilian ambassadors. You know, if you talk to the ambassadors, they'll tell you the one thing they need in addition to, you know, resources. Our guns and bulletproof vests and batons and mace. Walkie-talkies and cars. they need in addition to you know civilian ambassadors you know if you talk to the ambassadors they'll tell you the one thing they need in addition to you know resources uh is law enforcement it's a deterrent it's a deterrent there are plenty of organizations who are pushing back brenda jackson is with the activist group alliance for community transit la they believe oh god oh god some annoying goddamn indigenous chick. Send her back to wherever the fuck she came from. She would never do this where she came from. Where she comes from, this yo, where she comes from, there's problem problems. Yo, their problems make our problems look like sh yo, where she comes from, they got problems and she fled there she ran her parents ran from there instead of staying there trying to fix it they ran here and now this bitch is over here fucking being a goddamn rebel rouser and a goddamn agitator Fuck you. There are plenty of organizations who are pushing back. Brenda Jackson is with the activist group Alliance for Community Transit LA. They believe fewer cops are needed, not more, that the money should be spent elsewhere. If there <laughs> This chick thinks fewer cops need they need fewer cops on the <laughs> Let's just say she's from Mexico, right? Or Venezuela. Where crime is through the roof, where they hang people, they'll hang 10 people from an overpass in the middle of one of their biggest cities and just leave them there for days. The cartels. The cartels will go to a fucking village and kill every single person. And nobody will be arrested. <laughs> and she's over here talking about we don't need no police. There are plenty of organizations who are pushing back. Brenda Jackson is with the activist group Alliance for Community Transit LA. They believe fewer cops are needed, not more, that the money should be spent elsewhere. If there were more mental health specialists, outreach workers. If there were more mental health specialists, they would have grabbed you up, put you in a straitjacket, and threw you in a fucking mental health institution. Because the only two people I see that need to be in a fucking straitjacket are you and this bitch. Press one. Or that the money should be spent elsewhere. If there were more mental health specialists, outreach workers that were deployed on the trains and the buses that would impact 
the amount of violence that we see on the trains due to folks who are not uh, who are in a mental health crisis. What Metro is trying to go beyond is the problem that is mostly impacting working class riders, fearing every time they get on the bus or the train. Security guards, uh, 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 less uh, homeless people and an overall healthy environment. So major debate, the board of directors for L.A. Metro has asked staff to come back with some suggestions as to what they can do in order to tighten up the ship and make safety more prevalent on the bus system and the rail system. But there are groups, plenty of groups, and one will be out there tomorrow morning around uh, in front of the L.A. County Board of Supervisors meeting where they're talking about their budget. They're arguing less money for police and more on community service. All right. Conan, thank you for that. My pleasure. Salute to my man, Aster. Jay, he says, ah, the worst of the worst get into politics. They built nothing and destroy everything they touch. Facts. They, th those idiot girls don't know anything about anything. They don't know shit from Shinola. And they're fucking running around fucking influencing and thought leaders and shit. He's, this bitch don't know shit from Shinola. Two more contributors to unlock the link. Two more contributors to unlock the link. Come on, guys. I know you can do it. Two more contributors to unlock the link. Community service. 